So before we get into the serious stuff, I need some best outsider's tips for growing a beautiful beard. Oh, just don't cut it, man. Just don't cut it and put some oil in it. You know, keep pulling on it. Just keep pulling on it. Because <laughs> that, that that's the right, that's the right. Uh, yeah, yeah, good genes too. So WGN's network president, he talked about having little known stories that people could kind of grab onto uh, for, their, for their new slate of programming. Uh, what did you guys kind of know about Appalachia coming into this uh, and how did kind of your research inform some of the characters that you'd eventually play on the show? You know, a lot of the, they're, because they're a fictitious clan, you know, is a lot of us really sort of approached it from what are we going to create? You know, there wasn't, there wasn't, uh, a big call to like, you know, for any sort of realism. You know, this was much more to, to my mind when I first read it. It was, you know, it was Little House on the Prairie meets Mad Max. You know, it, it was, it was. Let's start there and create something unique. So, that is such a great. <laughs> well, the very Mad Max. Yeah, I mean, it's like we, there's no. We, we, these are not real. Uh, this is not a real tribe that we're representing that live up in the Appalachia. It's it's a huge eclectic mix of a lot of different um, cultures and 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 influences. Whether it's Celtic or American Indian or some random tribe in the Philippines. And, and yeah. I think that we all kind of just pulled, and we were always like emailing each other like links to videos and mm -hmm. imagery and books. And oh, did you hear about this, you know, this this clan of people that lived up in the Siberian uh, wilderness for 20 years without, mm. 40 years without ever mm. meeting another human being. And so mm -hmm. that was all part of it. What kind of jumped out for you on the page? And then when you saw the pilot, uh, eventually the final cut of it, I hope, hopefully you saw, you've seen it by now, but mm -hmm. um, what kind of, you know, really, really popped on screen versus in the script? Hmm. That's a good, it's a good question. question, yeah. You know, every work of art is going to change and it, it evolves, and especially in television when there's mm. so many people who contribute to the final product. You know, it's, 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 and I think that, you know, I think that the script probably went through uh, so many different versions and definitely the script that I first read mm. before I auditioned to mm. the sh script that we actually had when we shot and then what got left in and got left out and what changed and all of that. It was, it, it's definitely grown and evolved into its own thing now. Mm. I mean, we have a show, like it's really, it's really interesting. Um, you know, I, I, I hope that all of it pops in a sense. I hope that we, yeah. you know, I hope that we are, interesting and unique enough and and um, human enough for, for people to want to continue to to watch yeah um, just yeah I mean one of the things I mean obviously all of the things that we read in the script that attracted us worked you know you're riding ATVs through you know through a department store it's obviously going to be great um, the stuff that I was actually that popped on screen that I didn't necessarily pick up in the script was uh, Kyle uh, Hassel's character was is uh, that I think is, is his character worked much much on a, on a much more intimate level than I ever thought that it would because you have the is he's really the only person that's really caught in the middle I know that you you know you feel this this pull from the sheriff you know from Thomas's character and you have the people up on the mountain but he's really the only sort of fish out of water and I'm, I'm really excited to see what happens with his character. He's just so sexy in that kilt. Yeah. <laughs> and the mustache. <laughs> I, compliment, oh, I, I complimented it. him before. I love it. Well, it's an interesting thing. I mean, you know, with the show being titled Outsiders, it's it's kind of who really is, who really is the outsider. You know, to us, the people in town are the outsiders in our world.